Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to add a root bone for your humanoid avatar for your Unreal Engine 5.1 if sometimes the root bone is missing. Right, now I'm going to show you. Now this is my Unreal Engine 5.1 and here you can see for this 3D avatar, it doesn't have a root bone. The first bones, it start from the hip or pelvis. It doesn't have the root bones, it will cause some issues that the developers in Unreal Engines are unable to retarget the root motion for this 3D avatar. And if you already have a 3D avatar, maybe from your 3D modeler, and he or she doesn't add a root bone for you, it will be something like this. How are you going to make sure that you add a root bone? And then you can retarget the root motions if you imported this 3D avatar into your Unreal Engine 5.1. But before that, how are you going to easily add a root bone before you import it? So now I'm going to show you three solutions. First, you can just scroll down, go to my video description there. The three solutions, you can choose either one to just add a root bone for your 3D avatar. First, you can use the Maya to manually add a root bone. This one, you need the 3D modeling skills. But in this tutorial, I, I will just show you another two alternative methods. The second one is use the 3D exchange to auto add a root bone. And the third one is to use the character trader 4 to auto add a root bone. So now, where is my 3D avatar? First, I'm going to close my Unreal Engine 5 game project. I close this. And then, as there are more, I will just start a fresh new game project of my Unreal Engine 5.1. And then, here I have a 3D model, no root bones. Uh, model 02, no root bones. I will show you step by step from here. If you import a, a 3D model with no root bones, then what will happen and how to add this, how to add a root bone for, for it. Now, just wait for a while. It is loading. As demo, I'm going to just create a fresh new game project, a third person game project, and the project name is my project 4. I could create. Now, this is a fresh fresh new project in Unreal Engine 5.1 now under the content folder let's say if I add this avatar I press F2 to copy the name I create a new folder right now the name is model 02 no root bone if I double click and I, exp I import it then click import all At the same time, I also import the texture to add a texture for it. All right. Now I just create the material. Press delete. Model 02. Right, next I will just go to check the skeleton. To show it, I click character bones to show all the hierarchy of the skeleton. You can see the red color means it doesn't have a uh, root bones. It only starts from the hip. Right. So if I want to add a, a root bones, I can use a third party software like just now the two solutions. Use the Maya, use the 3D exchange or character creator for. So now Back to the content folder, I will just prepare another folder. Model 02 with root bone. First, I will try 3D exchange. Right. I have this, uh, this avatar here just now. It's under my sample avatar, no root bone. Now. This is a software name, the Icon 3D Exchange 7. I drag in, then click OK. Here, select No. Now, 
drag in the texture. Next, I, I just drag it down and I check convert to non-standard. You can see at the moment I imported it, it already automatic at a root bone at there. So I click cancel. Yes. So because of it automatic at a root bone, then if I export it, I create a new folder here. 3D exchange at root bone. I double click it. Then I export the FBX file at here. I copy this destination location, paste it here. Then target two preset, I choose Unreal Engine. Then I click OK. OK. Now, then I, I have to rename it. Like this model 02 3dx root bone added then i'm going to try to see is that really already added a root bone i drag drag and drop and import in import all then close then i test it i just try to open now you can see Wait, the root bone still not added, but if in 3D exchange here, I click convert to non-standard, then I just try to plot everything like this. It is just a few seconds, you map all the bones. Then, tick active and click convert. Click OK. Now, at this moment, if try again, for the first time, fail. Then this is the second try after I already convert it to non-standard avatar. 3D exchange at root bone. Zero two. We try. Try to export the FBX at here. The destination location paste it here. Target two preset choose Unreal Engine. Click OK. Click OK. Now this is the second try. Just rename it. With root bone, right back to the Unreal Engine. The model 02 with root bone, all of this fail. I just hold the first one, click the last one, click the first one, hold the shift, click the last one. I delete it. I don't want all of this because this is the first try, it failed. So, this is the second try. We drag in, then import all, then we can just try to look at this. Close. Now try to double click. It still doesn't have the root bone. Right. So for this time, it fail again. The 3D exchange it, it won't automatic add a root bone. So this is not the solution. How about the character creator 4? Just have a look. This is the CC4 character creator 4. I back to the original location. This is the one, the model 02, no root bone. I drag in. Then import as the character, the humanoid. 
Then here I click cancel. Just add this. This one no need. Just the most important part, this one. Right, once done already, I click active. Then click here to make it off. Then the texture, just drag in. Right now, for this part, fail. This is the second try use the 3D exchange, fail. Now, this one is for character, creator 4, CC4, add root bone. Then I click file, export FBX. Close character at here. The target tool preset I choose Unreal. Then I export the mesh only. I click export, click OK. Then copy this location, paste it here, Control V, enter. The file name, I'm going to name this as model 02. Save. Now this avatar is from CC. From CC4 back to the unreal back to the content i create a new folder model 02 with root bone cc4 this is using the cc4 try to drag in to add the fbx import all then close now try to check this avatar. Yes, you can see already added a root bone. If you already have this root bone, that means you can retarget the root motions from, from any other 3D avatar in Unreal Engine. So now the solution is by using the character creator for it, it convert to non-standard avatar, it automatic add a root bone for for your FBX and once you export as FBX, it already added a, a root bone like this. Right. And next is the Maya. We can try try the try the Autodesk Maya. Use the Maya to manually add a root bone. Yes. Now I close this. Before that, back to the previous folder. This is the one that no root bones. I open the Maya. Now the, the Maya still loading, then I close this. Alright, first just drag in the, the avatar that doesn't have a root bone. Drag in. Drag in into the Maya. And next, I will just click this to make sure that I can see the bones. Right? Then it doesn't have a root bone, we can add one for this avatar. So first what you are going to do is just click the rigging, then click this, then plot it here, then back to the select tool. Now you already have this. To make sure it is at the center, what you are going to do, make sure it is at the center. 
you have to go to the attribute editor then make sure the translation are zero sometimes you may not plot at the center right sometimes it's at other place like this it translate to other place no you must make sure it is at the center zero zero and zero once it is at the center originally next we are going to connect connect it first just double click to rename it as root enter then the skeleton is at here make sure you find the skeleton use the middle button of your mouse to drag and drop into the root like this then you can see it connected as a root bone already once you've done this step it is really easy just test it in Unreal Engine 5 you create a new folder here Maya manually added root bone now I export as FB exit here click, click file export all then I copy the destination location Control C paste it here Control A Control B enter then the file name I'm going to name this as model 02 Maya at root bone I click export all close now this is the 3d model then we try it in Unreal Engine create a new folder model 02 with root bone Maya because we are using the Maya to edit drag in the FBX file click import all close then open it now you can see a root bone is already there the material here just name it as model 02 because just now already have a material here. now done everything it already have a root bone everything are complete you can see right everything nice well done so in this tutorial i already tried three methods to add a root bones for your fbx 3d avatar and one failed that is the 3d exchange it failed to auto add a root bone but the cc3 success you can use the character creator for to, to automatic add a root bones if you need this software you can just go to my video descriptions, get the Creator Creator 4 through the official link that provided by me. This is the official site of the Creator Creator 4 provided by Real Legends. And if you can do the 3D modeling manually, you also can try the Autodesk Maya. Use the Maya to manually add a root bone. This one, I, I put it at the second one. Just now the first one is use a 3D exchange to auto add a root bone fail. Second one success. Then success. Use a Maya, use the character creator for both both are okay. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorial on how to add a root bone for your humanoid avatar if it is missing and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d modeling 3d animation and game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial or sharing you receive a notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy happy 3d modeling 3d animation and game developing see you